Hello everyone, welcome to IM Labs. Today we will be looking into sets and the various operations we can perform on them. So a set is basically a homogeneous or a heterogeneous collection of data types. Let's say our set contains 24, 54, 76, 89 and let's say we will print this set. What you notice here is that sets do not have any particular order in which they will be printed. They are randomized and the randomization depends on each and every machine and it's different for every machine. Now, let's get into the operations. Also, you will notice that if I add some redundant data to the list, uh, to the set, then it simply gets removed and ignored by the interpreter. Let's say we'll add 54 again. So this time if we try to print it, you'll notice that the code got run. We ran the code again, but 54, the second 54 got dropped out. This is because sets do not consider redundant data as data entries. Now, let's say we want to add another element to our given set. So let's add print, not print, sorry s dot add 76 then we'll print s now when you run the code oh 76 was already there in the list let's change it to 67 Now you will see that 67 got added to our given set. Next, let's say we want to add two given sets. Let's say we have another set S2 which goes by let's say a string mango. And let's put a floating point number 98.3741. Now what I want to do is add this second set to the first pre-existing set. So what we need to do is s dot update and then within brackets we write s2. Let's print s2 first, print s2 and now we'll print at s1, print s, print s. Now if we run this code, we will see that first this was my initial set till 67, 76, 54, 24, 89. Then we have mango and 98.3741 and in the next step it, it, this whole the second set got added to the first set. Now let's come to a little more complex variations of different operations we can perform on sets. Let's let's comment out this entire portion. This as well. Let's say I find want to find the union of S and S2. This would be better understandable if I just add one more redundant element. So let's add 54 here. So now 54 is repetitive. So when I do S3 is equal to S dot union within bracket S2 and then I print S3. If I run this code now, we will find that this two sets got added however 54 got added only once because we removed redundancy and S54 was already present in the pre-existing first list. Now similarly if we want to find the intersection so just change union to intersection intersection and 
we'll find that only the data which repeated in both the cases got printed. Now there is even a shorter method for doing the same. For union, we can just use one pipe and write S2 and it will print all the same thing. There is no difference to it. For intersection, we can use the ampersand symbol and then it will print 54. It's all the same. There's a shorter way of writing the same thing. Let's say now we want to find a symmetric difference. Now symmetric difference is basically it subtracts all the elements which are common and adds the rest of the elements to the mentioned list. So let's say I want to find the symmetric difference. So I load symmetric underscore difference. And within brackets, I put S2. Wait, some error happened. S2. Close the brackets, we go to the next line. Now, if we run this code, we'll find that since 54 was common in both the given lists, in both the given sets, 54 got dropped out totally. And now we have the rest of the elements of S2 added to the elements of S, which made our new set S3. And so S3 basically comprises of the elements of S and S2 which are not common. That's it for today guys. That's all with sets. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you next time.